Hello, my name's Steve Woody, and I am the founder of Online Mastery Limited. Today, I'm really excited because I'm going to be upgrading the plugin WP Fusion. And if you don't know what WP Fusion is, it is a way to connect WordPress to your CRM. Now, it used to just be for WordPress and Infusionsoft. It is now opened up to other CRMs. It is available for ActiveCampaign. They're opening up for Entreport, for Zoho's. There's, there's so many different opportunities now, if you have a CRM system, to link it into WordPress. And what this basically does to give you a very quick overview is it allows you to not only sync your user data between your CRM platform and WordPress, but it also allows you to lock content on WordPress based on tags within your CRM, so you can create a membership website. It allows you to tag based on um, e-commerce, so when people purchase something, you can apply tags. If they have a subscription, you can apply and remove tags depending on that subscription. And also into LMS or learning management systems like LearnDash and Sensei. So this is just a really, really good way to be able to easily integrate a system using open source code, using a completely lean code base and framework that doesn't continuously call on the API of whatever the CRM system is you're using. It pulls everything locally into WordPress, makes it very lean, very lightweight, integrates into many, many different plugins like WooCommerce, Gravity Forms, as I said, Learn Dash, Sensei, so many different options that are available. And what I'm going to do now is upgrade to version two, and I'm going to I'm going to test out a new system. So, first thing I'm going to need to do is just pop across here, uh, refresh my plugins. As you can see, I'm actually running 45 plugins on my website. Uh, most of them are up to date. I've just got one to do. But if we can see down the bottom here, it was um, it was running before version 1.63. So I'm just gonna deactivate version 1.63. And we're gonna go ahead and activate, well it's actually version two, but I'm on version 1.99 now because I'm just testing this from the lead developer who has sent it across to me, because I get first access. I'm really excited, I can't tell you because this plugin changed my life. Just to really take you back just for a, a brief moment, I was looking for a plugin that I could use to sync Infusionsoft and WordPress, and I, I went on a journey which led me to find Jack, and Jack is a, is a very, very good friend now, I consider him a family friend. We've worked together on several projects, and Jack's a fantastic guy, he's an amazing developer. He's got a great sense for business as well as code. And I, I hired him to be able to build a plugin that would integrate Infusionsoft and WordPress. And what happened is, the initial version that we built, we realized there was a lot of people that were interested in it. And so we decided that Jack would take it upon himself to build out WP Fusion. And so he's built it out and we've been working with it now for the best part of a year. And there's been a lot that we've learned, specifically that Jack's learned. I mean, there are so many things from all the installations and all the people now that are using this plugin. Um, we've learned so much. So what Jack's done is he's actually rebuilt the code from the ground up. And so having just removed the old plugin, uh, which was the version that has been built as from version one all the way up to version 1.63, as you can see, there's been a lot of changes. Um, to now come into version two is really exciting. So I'm going to come across the settings. I'm going to open up WP Fusion. And this is me getting my first look of the new plugin. I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I trust Jack. So first thing I see here is it's actually pulled everything across. I haven't got to do anything. Um, if you're going through the initial setup, you'll probably see this screen. Oh, this is new. So it tells you what CRM system you're using. Uh, my application name and API key works. So does my license key. That's great. I'm going to come back across now to general settings. So create new user. Um, so I can tick this to create new contacts when users are added into WordPress, and I can even select a role, um, so it will create a user based on their role. I can assign tags. This is new, so the new tagging system is beautiful. This is really, really nice. Um, new wow, okay, so this is really nice. So this is a whole new system to be able to apply tags. Really great job there. 
Um, push, when a user profile is modified, yep, that's okay. API call, okay, and then we've got the integration here. That's perfect. I can hide restricted content. So based on uh, if I don't want things to be in a menu, if they don't have access, that's there. Uh, exclude administrators, yeah, that's fine. Default redirect, and we've got our content message here, which is actually putting in a lot more information than it used to now. And our access key, so great, everything there is perfect. So as we click on the contact fields, we can see that we have the name of the contact field in WordPress with the meta field, and also the uh, field that it is connected to in our CRM. And we can actually choose from a drop down list of all of our uh, custom fields that we have available, or the standard fields, and we can sync these together by simply just clicking this button here to sync. So that way, anything that's typed into WordPress will be sent to Infusionsoft, and anything that's typed into Infusionsoft will be sent to WordPress. As you can see here, all of the custom meta and everything on my site, everything is there, which is great, so that's all come across. Integrations, so here we can pull, and this is an advanced custom fields integration, so pull the local profile data. Uh, uh, we can also pull from ultimate member. So all of the different uh, plugins that we have installed, if they're integrated into WP Fusion, we can do this here. Uh, so that's great. We can import users, so we can give them a tag uh, and a user role, also choose whether to send them an email. And we can, um, we can import a list of people. So we can do that, that's an option. Next thing we can do here is look in setup, which everything here is just the basics that we've looked at and we have restored to defaults. So everything looks like it's set up. Version two, great, all works really well. So let's actually go through and check out exactly what it is we can do with WP Fusion. And the best way to do that to start with is gonna be on a new page. So I'm gonna open up a new page. And at the same time, I'm also just gonna open up a new product as well so we can see what it looks like in WooCommerce. Um, I'm going to open up in another window a form as well so we can look at a, a new form and see what it does there. And so that is WooCommerce, uh, that is Gravity Forms, we're going to check. I'm also going to check it on a page, which is the same as for a post. And there is one other area I want to check this and that is going to be in LearnDash. So I'm going to open it again in LearnDash as well so we can check. Excellent, so we've got everything there. So first of all on a page. Let's look down and see WP Fusion. We can see it here on the right hand side. And this is what it allows us to do. We can restrict access to this page. So we can build out our page. How are we going to do that? We can restrict the access. So we need a tag for people to be able to view this page. And if they do not have this tag, we can redirect them to any page and we can type that in or to a URL. Something else that we can do, uh, regardless of whether the page is restricted or not, is apply a tag based on how many seconds this user has been on the page. Oh, sorry, click the wrong button there, ignore me. We can make sure it applies a tag as long as they're logged in. So obviously they need to be logged in to get those benefits, but that's what we can do on a page or a post basis. So that's great. Next thing I'm gonna do is come along to a product. So for a product, we have the same thing here, same box that's available. But also here, when we come down to the product itself, we can see we have WP Fusion and we can apply a tag whenever a product is purchased. If we have subscription, then we're given different options. We can now remove the tag when the subscription expires or fails to charge. So these are just some uh, things that WP Fusion will let you do here. Excellent, so that's another great thing. What I can also do, after I've done that is look at the gravity forms. So if we're going to create a new gravity form, and I'm just gonna set this up now as a demonstration. In form settings, we have WP Fusion. So we can put in here, and I'm just gonna do a quick gravity form with our name. We'll add our email. And I'm just gonna put in a quick uh, radio button with some check options. Perfect. So now if I come across the WP Fusion, just need to update this test. Perfect, so I come across to WP Fusion. And I can set up a feed, so I add new to add a new feed. I can call this what I want, and what I basically do here is select. So first name, this will select from Infusionsoft. Last name, email, and whatever I want this one to be. I can also apply a tag when they uh, 
apply the field and I also do conditional logic to make sure that any of these are what we want them to be before this will fire. So that way, depending, we can create different fields and if they have different answers, we can give them different tags. It's a great way to build out a completely um, conditional form that depending on the answer depends on how we tag people. It's a great way to do that on a responsive gravity form that, that fits brilliantly into WordPress. So that's another option. And the last thing that we have here is going to be within LearnDash that I just wanted to look at. And as an example here, WP Fusion required tags to access the course. Um, if it's denied, as we know, apply tags when a user views this content, and then we can apply these tags when the mark when this uh, content is marked as complete. We can also apply this to the lessons and topics within. So there's a great way there to be able to, and this is what I do here is I'll actually go along and apply a tag when someone starts a section of my course. And then if they mark it as complete, I'll apply another tag. That way I can track the progress and I know when they've started and finished, I can do some accountability in the middle. So really great features there. Everything that's available, WP Fusion is working fantastic on the site. Upgrade version two is great. I'll be sure to do another video soon where I check this out in active campaign, um, but not just in Fusionsoft. And so far, fantastic. Works really, really well.